Now, look, in life, I've got to be honest, there's so many ways to do things. You can approach it with, I don't know, brains, or you can apply brawn. Yeah. Toughness. And the motoring world is exactly the same. You can have a car with, say, a lot of horsepower mm -hmm. or with razor-sharp handling. Yep. Yeah. So it's basically, uh, it's uh, sort of traction versus torque or grip versus grunt. Yeah. <laughs> and in this next story, guess who chose grip? Guess which one chose grunt? Uh, I, I think, actually, it's dumb versus dumber. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Clio RS, and before you dismiss it as just being a French Corolla, this car comes from a long line of sports car killing French hot hatches, which means you can have as much fun in one of these as any car on the market. Here's Johnny. <laughs> this, my friends, is the new Falcon GT. The most powerful production car Ford have ever made in Australia. Pure V8 Aussie muscle. Now, should I drive over him or around him? I'll drive around him. Yeah, that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you turn 100 litres of petrol into a lot of noise and not much else. I will bet you a barnyard full of beer that right now that pinhead Pizzati sitting back there in that car banging on about small cars are great because they're nimble and they're more manoeuvrable. What that testosterone flooded silverback Luddite can't quite seem to grasp is that driving is an art. It's about feel and finesse for a car. Do you want a toothpick or a cricket bat? Would you want the Wiggles or ACDC? Am I right? You're right. I'm right. No, you're wrong. The Clio may have less than half the power of the GT, but it's 600 kilos lighter. And, unlike the Falcon, it understands the simple concepts of braking, handling and balance. Mate, 335 kilo. What? Yeah, I know, and I'm 147, yeah. but what I'm trying to get through to your Cro-Magnon brain is that <laughs> not just about an engine, it's about really? handling and brakes, and it's got to make you feel good too. That's where this car is brilliant. Do you want to go to a racetrack? That's the best idea you've had. Let's go to a racetrack. Done. Not a racetrack. This is a drag strip. This is a glorified driveway. Oh, I've got the jump. Go the star. Still winning. Still winning. Shane, there is no skill in this. This is proving nothing. Yeah, are you forgetting the part where I crossed the line before you? Uh, me, Shane Jacobson. Me drive fast in straight line. How am I going to get through this, Blake? Unfortunately for Shane and his GT, the real world isn't just made up of straight lines. Let's see how the troglodyte goes on a track Three, with curves. Two, one. Go. Go, Cleo. Got the start, and no, I don't. There it is. Who would have thunk it? Now, we don't like the straights, but aha, come breaks. We're on top of him again. Look at that. Hello. Oh, yes. The V8. Power is king. In this case, the boss. For all you Republicans who can't figure out what to put on the Australian flag, a V8 engine with a smile on it. If you can't find a smile, borrow mine. Oh, get out of the way. Mine might actually go up the inside here. Come on, come on. That's what I wanted to do. Thank you. 
He's not going to like the skid pan here, for sure. Just have to keep this under control on the skid pan. That is what I need to do. I've got to keep it all under control. Oh, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Nice power slide, bud. Not very fast, Shane. I've got to catch him. I really have to catch him. Oh, no. He's got me, he's got me. <laughs> How to gloat. Hmm. Uh, what? Uh, did I not tell you? It proves nothing. That, have you driven you. one of these? You're a professional driver. Have you of driven you're... one of these? No, I haven't. It's like asking me if I've worn a dress. Did you just lose? Yes. Yes. You're a good driver. This will make you a great driver. It'll make you driving God. Look, what? I'll Wear even the dress. Drive, drive this. I'll get in the Rock Apes cave. Culture. I'll put a skirt on. It'll prove nothing. What's that smell? Is it's that petrol. bacon? No, it's petrol. What's this run on? Ground up lip gloss? I don't find out how gutless and useless this thing is. You ready? Yeah. Two, two, one, go. Talking this thing is truly epic. God, that's fast through here. That's flat to the gunnels. Look at that. <laughs> oh, you don't like braking, yeah. Don't brake where the Renault brake, you're going to come off the track. Oh, look at that. The best thing I can think of comparing this to, being from Melbourne, is a tram, because it's stuck to the road. Since this thing doesn't want a corner, or brake, or behave like a sports car in general... Look how wide he's gone. I may as well do what it's happiest doing. There's my chance. <laughs> Last corner. Look. look at this, look at this. Yes! Win! <laughs> Beat the Falcon. The car that's named after a girls' magazine. That is unbelievable. You've got an admission to make, don't you? You do. Remember when we had to switch cars, you had to get out of the Renault, back into the Falcon. Yes. You didn't want to get out of it, did you? Uh, I'm not going to say uh, that I agree with you or that you were right. because This I, is a better it's, it's just car. hard for me to say. What yes. I will say right. is uh, this car is yes. a complete package. No, this car is just a dirty great big engine yes. on a body yes. that doesn't want to be there. Yes, no, you're right. All that's left to do now is yes. to hand these two cars to the Stig. <laughs> right, $39,000 Clio on the top, $72,000 FPV on the bottom. And somehow they've swapped paint. <laughs> Miraculous. We should point out they are the same cars, but just not exactly the same cars. Power oh, getting the road sideways. sideways. Yeah, going through turn one. Oh, through turn two. Chamois wiped by the stick. And he's shaking oh, his and head. the shake of the head, <laughs> exactly. He's not happy going through there. Coming clear down. here just proves it is some, you know, yes, not a lot of power, but just so much more steady. Now, that Ford engine internally is known as the Coyote, which I think is rather appropriate because oh. I reckon they purchased that suspension system from Acme. Oh, let it go. Look at him. Heavy under brakes, the steer. GT, a little bit sideways Going there. through the tightest part of the track. The question mark, exactly as and you'd think. No question about how he does that. Scando. Yeah. Sweetie style. That's it. All right, coming up to the bus stop. So it's now 1,200 kilo Cleo versus 1,800 kilo FPV. Sideways, sideways, big roll from the uh, white FPV there. Last corner of the go, no guessing how he'll do that. Exactly the, the way you think it would be, and across the line. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, All right. Well, the Clio RS did in a 135.90, which go. is not super fast, is it? No. The track we were on when we did that, that story was a much tighter track and it did handle that better, but I think it's going to get a little bit penalised because this thing did get more room to stretch its legs. So Correct. go on. Our go on. circuit, our test track does suit high horsepower yeah, vehicles. Go on, go on, right, on, OK, on. so then... Falcon FPV GT did a 133.52 at yes. one. Yes! <laughs> but, have a look. Where does it sit? Where yeah. does it sit? Just above it, it's one of the slowest cars. It's got 335 kilowatts. Yeah. It's beaten by something that picks up kids from the front of a grammar school. Look at that, oh, an yeah. X6. So, go on, what is your verdict out of all this? Well, what so, we need, obviously, is for Renault 
Renault, please build the next GT. That's what we want them to do. Get that engine, put some, you know, brakes and <laughs> some handling and we'll have a great car. All right, I will back you on that. But, Renault, if you're going to do it, do me one